In this video, I am going to build the home page of your website using the Themia WordPress theme. So when you activate the Themia WordPress theme, this is the look of the website that appears on activating the theme. So I am just moving to the dashboard area of the website and in the first step, I am just going to add some blog posts on this website. I just put the title of the blog post. I'm just putting some of the lorem ipsum text that I have. And I'm just going to upload an image to this blog post as well. After uploading everything, I'm just publishing this post. I'm adding another blog post. I'm just adding the content again. And I'm adding up a new image to this blog post as well. After doing everything, I'm just publishing this post. Now I'm moving back to the front end of the Themia WordPress theme and I'm just reloading this page. So you can see your top section is created. It's actually coming from the all those blog posts that have images in them are actually displayed on this top section of your website. So the nice thing about the Themia WordPress theme is your website actually, website's homepage actually gets updated every time you have a new blog post on your website, which is actually better for your SEO as well. So moving downwards, you have this three feature boxes area. You have an area for customer testimonials. You have an area where I have put a video, video right here. And there's a an digitized area on the footer as well. So I'm moving back to the dashboard area and under the appearance, there is an option for theme options panel. I'm just clicking the theme options tab right here and the theme, Themia theme pro options panel displays right here. So it had an option for uploading your own custom logo. It had an option for uploading your custom favicon. And if you have some Google analytics tracking code, you just need to put it right here. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to upload an image for the logo. So I have my Ink Themes logo right here. I'm just uploading it. And after uploading the logo, I'm just saving all the changes. Similarly, if you have some favicon, you can just upload your favicon as well. So I'm, after, log, uh, after uploading the logo, I'm just reloading this page. And you can see the Ink Themes logo is appearing nicely right here on the header. Moving downwards in the home page setting, you can set up this feature text according to your needs. So feature text heading, feature text one. And if you have a, if you have an image for feature text one, you can just upload it right here. So I have some images on I have some images with me, so I'm just using some of the images right here. And if you have some content, you can just put the content right here. If you have the link to the feature, if you have, if you want to link your feature heading with some content, you can just put your, your link right here. Similarly, I'm just putting up the heading for the feature heading two. I'm uploading another image and I'm just putting some lower and some content in the second feature box. Under the third feature heading, I'm just putting up the feature text three. I'm uploading another new image and I'm just putting up some content in the third feature content area. 
if you have some link to the third feature link you can just put it right here other than that you can put if you have some client testimonials or any other thing that you want to put up under the under this box area you can just put up right here if you have some testimonial content or some other content you can just put up um, right here so I'm just putting some lorem ipsum text the heading of the client this is the first this is first testimonial in the next area you have this video information if you want to put up something right here you can just put up any testimonial or any other content that you put up I have the video that is appearing right there if you want some other content other content you can put up here also this particular area supports HTML codes as well so if you want to have if you have some embed code your opt-in forms or any of the videos you can put up any HTML that you want to put right here so this is the first testimonial heading which is which would come right here and this is the content that would come up right here after putting up everything uh, I'm just saving all the changes my options are updated and I'm just reloading this page now you can see my feature text 1 2 3 is coming up here images is coming up here text is coming up here and all the links are coming up here I have the client testimonial which is coming up there and I have this testimonial widget heading which is coming right here other content is coming right here now the good thing about the Themia WordPress theme is let's say you have this blog post and you want to show this blog post from some particular category so we have given this option uh, if you have some category of the post where you want to show the post from the particular category you can choose this category as well currently we do only have a single category and that's the reason uh, it's it's showing all the images from the uncategorized category Moving next, I, we have the SEO options built in so you can put up any of the SEO options required on your website. If you have some Facebook, Twitter or RSS links you can put up here and they will the social icons would appear on the front page of your website. I'm just putting up the Facebook and Twitter links and I'm saving all the changes. Moving to the footer settings, if you have some footer text you want to add up put up right here after doing everything I'm just saving up the changes and I'm reloading the page so your uh, social icons are coming up right here on the top your footer text has been changed to design and developed by ink team this footer area that you are seeing right here comes up from the widget so if you want to put up any of the content you can just put up any of the widget on the widgetized area I'm just putting up some widget search widget the recent posts widget any other text widget and I'm just saving all those widget and after doing everything I'm just saving everything so I'm just ba heading back to the front end I'm reloading the page and you can see the search option widget comes up here the recent post comes up here any content that you want to put up comes here and contact us comes up here so this is the whole way in which you can build your home page of the Themia WordPress theme it's very easy the tops the top section comes up from the recent post which have images in them this particular section completely set up from the theme options panel and you can set up the footer using the widget area. Thanks for watching this video.